Okay, so the important topic now is that today in the market, right, I think a lot of you have seen the either news article or if you are a buyer yourself or you are a seller yourself, you will think that the market is going to explode, the price is going to go up and the effect is already taking place. So I think in the recent newspaper, you also see things like uh, uh, what prices are going up, uh, resale prices are going up, uh, okay. Okay, anyway, um, if you have watched my last few episodes about HDB pricing going up, right, I did explain to you that um, this uh, few months is going to be very special. Okay, so this is a very important message that I'm going to drop to all my viewers and all my subscribers is that uh, this um, period of time is a very crucial time. This November to Chinese New Year, every year, right, is public holiday, school holiday, uh, people go overseas, people don't buy a house. So, even if there's a price increase, it will never, never happen in this period of time, okay? It always happen in the peak period, okay? But today, we are experiencing something amazing in the market, okay? Things are going up in November. Things are going up in end October. The reason is very simple. I already, if you watch those videos, I already emphasize a lot is that there is no supply in the market but demand will never string okay when i say demand will never string you must understand whether is it hdb or private right? there's always people getting married there is always people that uh from pr got their citizenship or from a foreigner they managed to get a pr um they want to go and buy the private market because instead of the 25 percent tax they get to pay uh, I think extra 7% or 5% only, you know. So there's, there's all these things that are still going on even though we are in these very pandemic moments. But you must understand that in this period of time, there is no supply. Okay, so I'm going to go even deeper to this topic because I, I, I'm, I, I'm not going to point you in this direction. But if you can hear the G's that I'm giving to you in my videos today, right, then you'll get it. Basically, you must also understand in the new launch market, right? I keep emphasizing this many times in my last few videos also is that it's ending. So, if you realize there's not much good choices in the new launch market now, this is also the reason why a lot of new launches, right? Um, they are selling well when they first launch, meaning like, okay, I don't want to say names, but there's two launch that's going on and one launch that's 100 over units is so okay and i actually wanted to do a video but i didn't but anyway now it's so and and i don't want to touch so much on it yet because it's still a very dangerous period to actually say something about it but i will say that uh you have to be very very careful okay that's all i'm gonna say then also because uh, you must understand there's no supply in the new launch market so those people that's thinking to buy new launch right they may end up back in the resale market because they don't have choices in the new launch market. You see, in the new launch market, right? Um, if it's a uh, if at this point you want to buy, there is only uh Clementi, there is only Bukit Timah. You have to go to these two estate if you want to buy something in Tampines, but now don't have ma. So you cannot you you have no choice. You see, so in the new last time in 2018 2019 people has many choices when they want this estate they get this new launch when they want the estate they get that new launch they don't they are not able to find this kind of flexibility and find this kind of uh, supply uh, influx choices in the current market situation so with not enough new launch or a lot of new launch being sold out okay now you will realize that in the market it's mostly very small studio apartments if not uh, they are like very big units above 1.5 mil. If not, they will be in the CCR region, definitely above 1.5 mil. So if you're looking for something in the, I would say in the majority range, which is around 1.3 plus minus for two or three or four bedroom, 1.4, 1.5, it's very hard to get, okay? You will see most of the units are above 1.5, 1.6, 1.7. 1 so now the 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 new launch market is in a very different situation now would how would this thing um actually goes on in the next few months no one would know but i will tell you that next year right i will foresee things to be better when 
um, resale sellers start to considering selling seriously. Okay. Anyway, uh, many people have been saying la, that there is uh, oversupply in the market, uh, not enough demand. Singapore got more houses than than population and all this bullshit. Okay, I will have to tell you seriously. Uh, I have never seen a house that cannot sell. I have never seen a house that cannot rent out. So if there is really a oversupply in housing compared to what we have in our population, then I shouldn't be experiencing everything can sell and everything can rent. So I feel that this is a very um, important message. If you are just looking at statistics to say that, hey, uh, Singapore is at a high uh, supply, that is not enough population to actually carry this supply, then I'm so sorry to you because uh, the property agents on the ground are not experiencing what you're saying, you know? So in, in the recent weeks and recent days, I've seen a lot of this kind of news article and also recently there is this new uh, news article on new launch uh, uh, take up rate is lower or, or the amount of new launch units sold is dropping. Actually, it's because there's no more new launch. So to, to make things in a very realistic and a very jiao ta si di way, uh, to, to make it as real as possible for you to understand and not just on a statistics basis, right? You realize that Actually, this is not a good time to buy. I would say that now, right, uh, you want to buy properties, you have to see because the the good areas they are picking, you know, they're picking, meaning that this area, let's say it's a popular area, their prices are going up. But again, let me help you understand. Uh, these good areas, the prices are going up. But those no good areas, are the prices going up? Actually, the answer is no, you know. So, if your area is no good, today you may have a, little bit more demand then congrats it doesn't mean that you can increase price it doesn't mean that when the newspaper article says that a ura says that the prices are increasing then everyone in singapore says hey fuck i can sell higher now i i need to i need to sell higher i need to sell higher then everyone go crazy and sell higher it doesn't work that way buyers are not stupid okay so um i just want to address to you this is that because of my last few videos right i already tell you and I really predicted that this is a, a time where demand will not drop people will still continue buy because people are not going overseas people are not going for holidays and it's school holiday period but people will think whether to sell or not the, also you have to understand that uh, today if you buy a private property or you buy a HDB in November most likely your completion is going to be very near to Chinese New Year so is this a good time to do it or not it's a very big question mark Okay, so I will end this video here. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, like I say in the middle of the video, if you get the gist of my video, then good for you. If you didn't, then uh, watch it again. Understand better so that you know what is the realistic situation that is going to, to that you are in now. Okay, I will say that this whole thing right will last to end Chinese New Year because you won't see a lot of people selling in the resale market to end Chinese New Year. I'm very sure about it. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Hit the like button, subscribe button. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.